you have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Wait for an answer. If they said no, drag them to the altar. Tell them they got till midnight to get that fixed. They got till midnight to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. to be blessed you have to decide to be blessed you have to decide you know what this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad that I will rejoice let the past go and step over into the future Everything that's inflexible and everything that's not ready and everything that's backwards and everything that's negative and everything that's condescending and everything that's carnal and everything that's holding me back, I refuse to take it over into another year and waste another new year with an old mind. The devil is a lie. I will rejoice.
and say, you don't have to get out of trouble. Tell them you don't have to get out of trouble before midnight. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you, no witch that hexes you can stop you from being free. If you can get your mind out, grab yourself by the hand and say, we're coming out of here. Till the end, and the result will uh, take care of itself. Totally legal. That's how you're up. It's a big point, Jamie. You talk about tackle technique, the world looks to negate what you can't do going low. Right. Yes.
punch straight in there. Some of those England forwards going a big hit on Fiji this time. It's uh, number seven, Tangi Tangi, the loo. Tries in six games for the captain.
and then that try two minutes after half time. To... So uh, whatever we opportunity came, we trust each other. So I see my fellow players are uh, uh, just yet behind me. So I understand this. I have to give the opportunity because rugby is rugby. We don't know what's going to happen. Spectacular from Fiji to start this second half.
I can say what a game. 